Hey guys, it's Larry here, and uh, we're doing a competitive go through walkthrough. Hey guys, it's Larry here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how Fortnite can improve its competitive scene and its esports scene. And we're gonna be going over a bunch of topics in this video. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title this video. But I got a buddy with me this time for this rant. Kind of a rant, but infinite. yeah. Envious Infinite? Yeah, say hi to what? Infinite Envious, guys. Oh Maybe shit, what? Say hi, Larry. <laughs> say hi. Oh All shit, right. somebody say hi to me, bro. Cut that All out. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna cut it out. Hey guys, LEA here. And hey. today we're gonna talk about- Hey, let about... me start. Let me think. Oh, sorry. Okay, go on. In this video, I'm joined by one of my friends, Infinite Envious. My friends? Yeah. Anyway, like I said earlier, we're going to be going over uh, how Fortnite can improve its competitive scene and why it's kind of bad right now. And it's like basically kind of a joke, in my opinion. All right, so uh, the reason why I'll make this kind of rant, kind of like a podcast, but like an edited version. It's going to be really short. Like we were talking about this during uh, Prime Messages on Twitter. And, like well, We were talking about it in game too. We just came up with ideas. Like we just, we we're just talking about how they can improve it and like why it's bad right now. First thing we're going to be talking about is Summer Skirmish and Freak Want. Freak? We're gonna be talking about week one and why it was so bad. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta make that a blooper. So, uh, the, the reason why it was so bad is because, first of all, the servers were so laggy in the prior match for all these different players. We're getting into solutions after, but we're just gonna be talking about the problems right now. The goal of the game was to win, and kills didn't really mean anything. In fact, they didn't mean anything at all. So that's why everyone was camping. There's the circle was so small, the size of like, as you can see right here, it was probably the size of like stadium. Or like the middle mountain, and there's at least 50 people alive in that circle. 50 people alive. They were all That's literally crazy. camping under like each other's bases and stuff. 50 people alive. The servers were laggy. Like I I, I retweeted this on Twitter, but like, there's a clip of like Courage where he couldn't jump over, jump over like his barricade, and he was it just it's just so funny, man. He just died because he couldn't jump and he was enraged. Week one of like summer skirmish was so bad they had to like change up the whole concept completely. Well, like, you know, there is no skill involved the first week for week two, which it was a little bit better, but it's still not on the point where it's like affected the game. It needs to be, there needs to be some changes, obviously, and I'm working on it. But week one, just, oh, it was just a colossal failure. It was a joke. How did they play? Like, what was the game mode? It was just the private server, 100 people from different servers, like from different areas, UK, whatever. It wasn't even like the same area. So you can okay. live in like Australia and still play in this. Oh, that's why it was laggy? Yeah, it was like the servers, the private servers for them were just light. They couldn't handle it. That's how you know Fortnite needs better servers. They need to get yeah. better servers fast. They can't afford it. It's not like they can't afford it. They don't have the time to. Just they, they aren't doing it. They need to do drastic changes to the servers. Well, they're working on growing the game first. If you want to grow the game, you, you got to make sure you have the room for the game. Everyone knows about it. Yeah, exactly. Everyone knows about it. If you want, like, if everyone knows about it, you got to have the space for it. But they don't. It's a game. In, yeah. It's still a game in beta. Say the world was supposed to be free by now, but we're not getting into that. Who said that? It was supposed to be free, but they haven't. They just completely forgot about that. When was it supposed to be free? Like 2018, they said. It's already 2018. Yeah, is 2018 over? Okay, when are we gonna get it? Is it over? They no, they haven't talked about it. They're not talking about it. How many it. months do we have left in this world? In this world. In this world. How, many <laughs> how many months do we have left in this? How many months do we have less left in this year? Jesus. How many months left until Fortnite dies? Let's be real. Okay. Anyway, going on to week two, we had. Uh, a better game like concept uh, it was basically where people would go into random lobbies and it's it was similar to solo showdown which I'm not gonna go into yet because solo showdown was bad but you know we'll talk about that later and basically it was random 10 random people three people on console I think and they went into their own servers like their own like area servers a random game in solo try to get as many kills as they could and from those games they had to yeah, the, like more kills they got, the more chance of them winning. One kill equals one point, and one win equals five points, right? Yeah. Uh, basically, like it was a good concept, but the thing is, is that there's a lot of problems with like public lobbies. If you're gonna do that for a tournament, so you're assuming that everyone's got like the same type of matchmaking. People are getting the same type of like lobbies, where like people are getting 90 match lobbies, people are getting 60 match lobbies with six people in the game, and like it's inconsistent. Well, it's not really fair. It's all about luck, in my opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. This entire game is luck. Your bullets exactly. are luck. Your loot is luck. Exactly. The opponents you match, you come up against is luck. Like, what if some people went into the same lobby? Like the like, I can yeah. see why people were getting mad. Console was in there. They should have honestly did it so like yeah. console yeah, players consoles... for for one week and then PC players for one week, not like put them together. That's not really because well, it brought in a lot console, of controversy. Console, in my opinion, is easier than P than PC. Well, technically, it's not true because there's a lot of 
bad players on PC too. The point that I'm trying to make is that you can't compare the two. Console, in my opinion, has a lower skill gap just because it's hard to get like to get advantage over someone else because like how easy it is to build on console now. And, like you can't be faster, you're limited. On PC, you're not really limited. Same thing with PC. What? No, on PC you can have key bindings. You can like have a hotkey where you can pull like a wall instantly, stairs instantly. It's so much faster than the console. So like, if you're a faster player on console, it's a lot harder for you, in my opinion. That's why That's PC hard. players shouldn't be able to play with ex like console players because it's not fair. And aim, aim is aim is so big. Okay, aim will, exactly. aim is the thing that gets you kills. Yeah, right? and all these builders have no aim. Not to mention with the bloom. Like a lot of there's a lot of fast yes. builders out there who think they're good, but they have no aim whatsoever. They just spam build with turbo, they spin in circles. And aim is so much better on on PC compared to console. Console aim is bad when you know you have to have aim assist on it and there's no aim assist on PC. If you play on like keyboard and mouse on console, you just don't have aim assist. People think that you do, you don't. Not only was week two not executed like well, but like a lot of bad things happened during the game. Like I know T Few got he got killed by a hacker during one of his games. Like he literally got killed by a hacker. Which is quite unfortunate, actually. Yeah, and that's why he came last. I think he came last, right? Is that could have that could have been a twenty kill game? You know, yeah, like he could have got a thirty kill game. Died. You don't know. We like that's it's not yeah. fair. Honestly, I don't even think Epic likes Tfue at this point. For all we know, <laughs> Epic could have killed him. <laughs> <laughs> yo, shut this guy down, yo. They had an Epic admin hunting Tfue. That's what the main point of this video is. We're gonna be explaining how they can perform it better for next week, maybe, or like in general for like other ranked game modes. And how like it can actually involve skill and like skillful players. I'm gonna let you ex like start off the like how they can put in ranked and the uh, help like improve. Introduce ranked? Yeah, like actual rank, not solo showdown where you hide in a one by one. Honestly, the solo showdown had two kind of players. Okay, they had the players who were bad and they just just tried hiding one by one, so they were just being annoying from there. Oh, that's or right. No? Now I remember. Okay, so solo showdown last time it was added into the game, they did not include any points whatsoever for kills. That's what should be added. Because if you're gonna hide all game long, like you're not good. It doesn't show skill. <laughs> People would land like Wailing Woods. <laughs> they were just be on yeah, the edge of the circle. <laughs> you don't know how many it, times. Oh you don't know how many times I died to someone with one kill. Solo showdown. Yeah, same thing. Sometimes I would kill myself because the servers were bad too back then. I, I thought a lot yeah, of them reason. See the building glitch back then too? Oh my god. Oh, don't even tell me. Blitz showdown. Like, they implemented kills. But the thing is though... What was Blitz showdown? Blitz showdown was basically the same thing, but they added kills where like, if you get a kill, you get a point. And it was basically that. I think okay. it was every kill you get, you get three points. I'm not sure. I honestly forgot. Okay, how was Blitz bad though? Blitz showdown was bad because... They, you still have those campy players who like they were just like you know they would get set up and they would just like wait for other people to shoot. But Shona was just so annoying because like there's so many glitches with the game. I would get hit tra like, by traps through walls and stuff, even though that's not supposed to happen. Yeah. There was a horror. I got hit through a wall at one point like completely with a shotgun. Like I was hiding behind a rock. I got hit through it. There's also these aggressive players who wouldn't leave you alone. They had like one like I don't know why these guys have like no kills at all, but they were just so desperate for kills because like, everyone thought like kills mattered this time, but it didn't really matter that much. They do. You they do, but do. like just they do, but they don't matter that much. All you have is these aggressive players trying to rush you, and these you know those players that like they don't care what happens. They just want to get the kill, and they just rush you. They phase through your walls and stuff. They just okay, they, yeah. like they don't give a shit about anything. They're just those bad kind of players who like just they just run into your walls and like they just somehow glitch through it. I got killed so many times for that, and these guys who just wouldn't leave you alone. Like they had no like nothing on them, but they just wouldn't leave you alone. They're just, they're just desperate. And you would kill them, and then another guy like would push too. on you. No, it's basically what Solo is now, but these guys, like, they would wait for you to finish up, like, a battle. And once you finish up the battle, they, they intervene. They just, like, instigate in that battle. The main issue with Blitz Shona was that you could wait until the end of, the, like, the game, and you campfire, like, the whole game, and you would win. Because the circle would, like, almost 80% of the games would finish off with the circle being, like, covering the map completely. There would be five people alive when the, the circle's closed up. You didn't place- so, Wait, did you get points? Did you get points for kills? Yes. Did you get points for wins? Yes. How many points did you get for wins? If you win a game, you get 100 points. And every kill was 3 points? Okay, now I see why that's that's bad. People were still camping to win it, and they were just like waiting until the circle to finish and then campfiring up. There's also jetpacks in that game mode. So people would just fly up and not get shot down, campfire somewhere, and you'd, you'd be fine. And the servers for Sol Blitz why... Showdown were even worse than Solo Showdown. A lot worse. Okay, this is this is what I think, okay? They should have two playlists, one being casual, one ranked, right? And right under that, that should be the special playlist, okay? 20v20v20v20, blah, 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 right? 
snipers only, game modes like that. Uh, if you select the, the casual playlist, then from there you can pick solo, duo, or squads. And in casual, there would be no... No, what am I looking for? What word am I looking for? It was matchmaking. Uh, skill-based matchmaking, that's right. One saying casual with no skill-based matchmaking, and then one saying ranked with skill-based matchmaking. Because the skill is so matchmaking. Become... Hey, you know what's funny about this, though? They said they weren't right. going to put it in because like, they said they were thinking about putting it in. And the whole community got mad and they said you shouldn't do it. They listened and they're like, fine, well, we won't do it because you guys, let's be know how you feel about it. Next thing you know, next season they put it in. Silent. Yeah. They didn't even say anything about it. They put it in. And like, you could, like, it's, like we know for a fact there's skill-based matchmaking in the game. You cannot lie. <laughs> there, there is skill-based matchmaking. I would play with some random players who were just trashed the game, so my buddies. I would drop like so... I would kill so many easy players. So you know how you're in a game... Like in the lobby, yeah. And then how it shows game modes, right? And you have to pre press square to activate it. And then when you click on either one of the playlists, there's solo, duo, and squads, right? That yeah. way you could play solo, ranked, duo, casuals with your buddy. You can go into a freaking, you can go into squads, ranked. Underneath the two playlists, that should be where the special game mode is for the week or for the month or however long they. Oh, last. so like you know, like Destiny, where it has like how Iron Banner comes in, like that. Yeah. Iron Banner being a special game mode. Yeah, except not like Destiny where it has like one game mode. That's how Destiny messed up in my opinion. Honestly, that's so stupid. Like only having one playlist be ranked. Dude, all modes could honestly be competitive. Except Every solo. Every single mode could be competitive. Except solo. Solo. Solo's competitive right now. What do you mean? No, it's not. I, I honestly don't. Like the way it is right now why with the meta be, and like the game it, it is. Because people just play like scrubs right now, man. This is the meta. That's the way people play, the play style. What? People would, like, you see an engagement, right? Like, I, I, I saw Sir D tweet about this, okay? It's 100% true. Like, I agree with this 100%. So, you you, fit, you get a kill, lot of mats, you okay? You somebody, you no. waste your mats. Waste your mats. Okay, you get you a lot of mats, you fight somebody, oops, they, they wasted their mats too. Now you gotta go look for mats, and then somebody kills you. Yeah, someone rushes you when they have more mats. That's what people yeah. play. They wait for you to finish your fight, and then they push in. I agree with you that squads is more competitive, but and... any mode in Fortnite can be competitive. Expect, uh, except for the special game modes. And the also, carries. the way they're implementing into the game, solo showdown, blitz showdown. Don't bring me another solo showdown or blitz showdown. That's not what we need. That's not gonna improve the game, and and they also I didn't know about, like we didn't know about this, but depending on how high you ranked in split showdown, like you got you could have got invited to like the summer skirmish. Yeah, if and... I know if I would have known that, then I would have tried my like I would have tried my hardest. Oh ha wait, have you seen that new gun though? Yeah, the combat SMG no, P90. Under, the SMG Ligma. Yeah, the combat SMG. Yeah. Ligma, that's what it's called. Ligma the... fucking boss! Oh, bro, I'm the one who told you that. Oh, no, no, I didn't. One kill should equal one point, and one win should equal five points. Because I really do feel like wins in this game matter. Wasn't that how it was for Summer Skirmish? Oh, kills matter as well. Yes, that's how it was, and that's good. Better than, like, Blitz Showdown. Blitz Showdown points, was... So because... Yeah, 100 points was way too much. For a win... Uh, points, you might get luckily. People will be hiding. People will be, will be hiding for more points. It's a battle royale. Battle royale is like yeah, survival in battle not games. Be yeah, that's what battle royale games are for. It's for survival and how, how long you can survive. But if you're if it's a competitive game mode, it should be for like how well you do in the game. You know. Yes. So kills should be incorporated. Yeah, because otherwise you're just gonna like you're gonna play like a scrub. Winning an entire tournament with zero kills, like what is that? <laughs> Some people got one kill during the tournament. And they won for week one. Summer oh scrimmage. Honestly, nowadays they're just they're just promoting to casuals. Even when like well, it's like yeah, a comp see, game mode, comp why. quote unquote. It's like <laughs> they're not they're, they're they're not using it right. They're not promoting to actual skillful ways. Well, I can see why they're making this game more casual. Because they're money. growing, right? Money. Money. Yeah, exactly. Money. All about money. Look at the skins. Look at the battle pass. Yeah, that's right. Okay, back to the ranked playlist. Your your things should be recorded, right? Like your scores. Your kills, your wins, all your points should be added up at the end of the season. Yeah, at and the end of the season. What are the seasons for? That's exactly not a limited time game where you play twenty five games. What? I'm 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 adding on to your point. What we had right now, solo showdown, twenty five or fifty games. 
what was it? Okay, Fifty games. Shut up! Shut up! Solo okay. Showdown isn't what I'm talking about. Right I know, now. I know, I know. I'm just saying how bad Solo Showdown was. Okay, well, why are you bringing it up when I'm talking about this? Okay, continue. My bad. I'm just gonna kill myself. I'm killing myself. Hey, no suicide, no suicide jokes. Liar, I'm killing myself. No suicide jokes. Like, you can add up all the points from the games that you've been playing. Like, by the end of the season, you should be able to see how many points you have. And the top 10, like, highest, like, points uh, should be added to Epic Games tournaments for money, right? I feel like it should be at least top 20 for each server. Top 10 will be, like, you know... Unlimited. Top 20 for each server, not just top 10. Yeah, because like then they can have way bigger tournaments. Yeah, I see. Yeah, not like the same people yeah, like yeah, Ninja. Yeah. For all we know, they're going to invite Ali A and think he's good. It should be a popularity contest. That's what, like, I was going to get into that later. Yeah, that, uh, that's what it should be. Let's say 500 people in a tournament. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, let's say 100. Sorry. Let's say 100 people are in a tournament, okay? Half should be streamers, and half should be actually, like, good players that aren't yeah. known. It shouldn't all be popularity-wise, because everyone's... Everyone thinks like, oh yeah, Ninja's the best player in the world. No, they, there could be some random guy who's way better than Ninja. Yeah, but he's just not, like, known Yeah, yet. popularity does not determine your skill. I don't understand why people think that. People think Alex yeah, Rambi Gaming is like the best console player. You could player. be Ali Alex Rambi Gaming is not Fortnite. the best con- Exactly! Who's poop? Who's poop? <laughs> Bro. Straight poop. <laughs> Fear the- I don't know, just funny, man. But anyway, continue. What? I'm done. Oh, okay. Am <laughs> <laughs> I- <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna add on something, oh okay. What can I add on from that? Well, how else would they do it? They just randomly select 50 streamers? Yeah, they, they just get like a bunch of people like for each type of tournament. If summer scrimmers, they should add like lower known players. Like, you know, Epic Games, you know, hit yeah. me up, you know, I'm a top console player, you know, top stream sniper. <laughs> no, he's not! <laughs> top, <laughs> yeah, top number one N NA player in Canada. <laughs> What? Like, they should hit up random me? people, random people. I remember in the tweet they said, Skomer Skirmish, they said, specifically said, you have a chance to, like, compete for this, okay? But they yeah, only see, added in, them but on they're Twitter, only, right? what? They should add it in-game. Like, you know how there's a news tab in-game? Yeah. What's the point That's of the how new... you should see whether The news or not, tab is like... only for, like, new weapons and stuff. Like, what the hell? Right? Dude, if, the, if on the news tab it said, you could be invited to win this much money in a tournament, then I would have tried hard in that solo showdown game mode, because I had no yeah, idea. They could add their own league in the game. Only, only people who followed them on Twitter knew. I didn't even play the solo showdown. I went to solo squads to practice. <laughs> like, solo squads is way more common than solo showdown. For actual tournaments, they, should add, they shouldn't add like the same like 100 people into the tournament or whatever. Like it's, like it's a popularity contest. Add in people right. who like do well, cause I remember on Epic Games, I don't know why I got this, but like I'm pretty sure others got it as well maybe. Like they give me an email where it says, you're a pro builder or something like that. And they showed like an image and stuff, it was like, yo, you're a pro builder, keep it up and stuff. I was like, what the hell is that supposed to be? Am I gonna be like, top console, am I known as top console player all of a sudden? No. <laughs> Everyone's top console player at this point. Okay, I had something to add about the uh... Uh, tournaments like epic games tournaments all right epic games should add up all your score for you how much points you have like who's the highest you can see the leaderboard for points right yeah like top 50 and those top 50 players would be invited to epic games tournaments yeah and hey, other you, 50 like that's, streamers a, that's a great idea because be epic games tournament that's a great idea because you can already see the top 50 players for wins in like the the record leaderboard section yeah so why can't it do that for a ranked game mode? Or better not, better yet, like a league. You know like the Call yeah, of Duty exactly. Black Ops 2 league? Yeah. We should do it Black like Ops that. Black Ops 2 play was the perfect uh, ranked, like, way to incorporate ranked. And in ranked, they need to add more, more materials. Like if I'm breaking a, a fence and get 10 wood, I could build one thing, right? Yeah. What's that one thing gonna do for me? It's, it's situational, because if you have a lot of match, you can just spam build and like, you know, it's not really... Like, Billy doesn't really take, take skill anymore, out. though. <laughs> take that out? I wasn't fucking thinking. Yeah. At least for ranked, they need to add increased materials. Well, in ranked, yes, because, you know, like, ranked is ranked. But in the regular in ranked, game mode... I don't want to be... I don't want to farm my for materials the entire game. Because I run out quick. And it's tough, you have so many sweaty players in ranked. And that's going to just promote camping, so the more match you have, the better. Because you don't have match, you're obviously going to camp somewhere. They just added so many building nerfs and stuff, so the game just feels more casual, you know? They keep making all these dumb nerfs. For, for League, or like a ranked game mode, there should be a separate battle pass, to so where 
you can unlock different unique stuff like maybe you can unlock a cool skin that you can't like actually buy ever like something that's hard to get it's a grind to get it'll actually be a good grind to get like you know it's not like destiny where you like grind all the faction rallies just to get like an a catalyst and you can never get that ever again when the game's not even fun that's how good players could be rewarded in ranked you said they should have had a whole new battle pass for ranked i don't think they should have like 100 tiers in it i think they should have just 10 right yeah not, not 100 and tiers single... 100 tiers would be way too much that's that's not that's yeah. not proper and every single tier and this battle pass should be free of course yeah right? of course but every single tier should be either a skin or an emote because everything else in the battle pass is useless i don't want yeah any of this i don't want no damn loading game. screens for no reason okay what am i gonna do with the loading exactly. screen I, especially a reskin one be, too from it last should be season skin skin emote skin emote skin emote the more i play ranked the more xp i get towards this battle pass yeah so say say i win 10 games i unlock the first skin right Say yeah. I win ten more games and I unlock the second emote. They don't even have to make it so like it's like a good skin on the first one, because it's free. It's a free battle pass. But they should make it so that like skins actually are rare. So like it actually yeah. like it's a grind to get. The last skin in the in the in the ranked would be the rarest to get, right? Yeah. For yeah. potentially for like the ranks, you could probably probably earn like V bucks for it. I feel like that would be a good reward. I honestly, don't know why they're doing it like tournaments yet when the game's not even comp yet. It's not fully comp. They need to promote like an actual ranked game mode first before they include tournaments. Look at week one, what happened? Summer Screamers. They are just testing with it though. Yeah, they're testing, but like if they wanted to test, they would have added a ranked game mode. Yeah, if they're testing, do it properly. Don't just throw it together a half ass tournament. <laughs> exactly. They had to scrap they had to scrap the first tournament completely after like like they didn't even yeah. add a second day to it. They just played and one day and that's it. They actually put thought into it for week two. Yeah. The week two concept was good. It's luck based, like we said. It's luck based. If the game is gonna be luck based like that, where well, you have to like farm random people, it's not really fair, especially if it's different servers. They gotta put console players with console players, PC players with PC players, so it's fair because they're not comparable, like I said earlier, but it still makes a difference, kind of. Two of the top three were console players. And there was only three console players in the tournament. Take that in. They could even make tournaments for console and other tournaments for PC. That way nobody complains about what servers are easier, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's what I've been saying the whole time. Ninja, Ninja they doesn't can't... have to be a baby anymore. Yeah, Ninja doesn't be like, oh yeah, this guy was using keyboard on PS4. Yeah, I can get I can get fifth place now, you know, because I want to make more money because I already make millions. Yeah, I need more money. Uh... He's too far gone on that Ligma stuff, you know what I mean? Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. Yo, if you apparently if you go into just chat, you type in Ligma, like you're gonna get banned. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what people told me. What were we talking about? Oh, okay, separate tournaments for console and Fortnite. I mean, console and PC. Yeah, it, there's no controversy in this. It will actually like, be better. It makes sense. The only thing that's bad about it is that public lobbies, like. Some games you will have more players than others. Some people are gonna be like match up together. It's it's all about luck, like we said. It shouldn't be about luck, even though this game's all about luck. So we should have added this at the beginning of the video, but we're not like we're not Epic employees. We're not experts on this. We're just giving ideas and suggestions of like how it could be better. We're giving our own. We're sharing our own opinions on how they could. Yeah, possibly that's my opinion. Cause I know some people are gonna be triggered. Wow, cause you know everything. Then like I made a video on like why the battle pass sucked, and that like you guys actually liked that. I had a, like you guys were like wow that. It's got a well-made video. So I decided to make another kind of rant on this. Because, like, I, it's not like I'm hating on the game. We're not hating on the game. It's just that we want the game to be better. We're critiquing the game. A lot of people do that. If you don't critique a game, it's not going to get better. You're still here. I have Ligma. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so the week one tournament, what was it? Everybody was just in it in one server? Yeah. 100 players, 100 streamers. See, that's a, that's a good idea. But... Games turn out so laggy, and people will especially camp. when they're on the same server. Yeah, people in that game mode will camp, and they'll, there if, will it, be not, like, like they can't handle fifty people in the like the middle of the map. Yeah, that's crazy. That's why the game was so laggy. Okay, and, it, and not only that, like they could do that as long as kills are dependent. Like it's all it's mainly about kills. But how would kills be dependent though? Not the proper word. Dependent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Friend is not the proper word. I don't know where I got that from. Kills would have to be incorporated. Yeah. Into it. it has to be incorporated. It has to be people on the same server console. Do I have to make a mode of what you can't camp like that? Because look at the pro-amp. There was 100 people they in the game. But they can't just say that. You can't say like, 
Oh, you can't camp, right? Yeah, that's because people are going to camp regardless. Every kill, you'd have to earn like 50 bucks so that nobody would camp. 50, oh, <laughs> 50 bucks. Like I said, we're not experts, so we don't know how to properly like incorporate it ourselves. But Epic has to test this. They have to do something with this. Maybe change yes. the game itself. It might be the meta, like the current meta. Everyone just like playing campy. Like I'm sure, I'm sure they're they're like there's somebody out there testing it right now. They just have to incorporate kills if they're gonna put it the week one style where they all play. It felt like the week one style was bad. Just the, like actually, no, I, like I take that week, back. It was bad. The week one style. No, the week. How was it bad? Uh, the way it, the week one was bad itself, but the style they like chose where there was a hundred people and like all hundred streamers. That's not a bad thing. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. If they're all in one server, that way there's a clear, distinct winner. Yeah, and it actually depends on skill. But the way like everyone just camping in the circle, the circle was that's really cancer, small. So... Like, it's cancer. Yeah. yeah. That's why they, if they're gonna do that, they have to incorporate kills. Everybody plays ten games. They all stream it. I feel like Each now kill is one point. Every with, win is five points. Now with I like the, the I draw body situation, everyone's gonna have to stream just because like they don't want like people accused of being cheating. I feel like Epic Games could find out if they're cheating or not, though. Yeah, they can, but streaming. it's just that they need to, like, make the game so that actually skill matters. That's the main part of it. Gotta make game... better servers, better, like, uh, matchmaking systems, better, like, rank system, actual rank system. They pretty much said they're not doing squads for comp. Because they said duels and solo those. Okay? They didn't say anything about squads. Like, even the Fortnite Friday thing, like, the tournament, that's way better than what, like... Summer skirmishes right now. How does Fortnite Friday do their thing? I'm not sure if they do it any other way, but well, the way I've seen it is that they get duos right and they get them into a squad of the same lobby. So, like for example, Ninja and maybe like someone else is at our team, and then you get a team of Tifu and someone else, and they're not on okay. the same team, but they're in the same squad. And they what they have to do is get more kills. Whoever gets more kills out of like three games, I think they get advance. And you're in the same lobby, so it's not like it's it actually it's fair. That that would be a good way too. And then if you die, like if you die, that they don't, don't have to res you unless they want to. They, they want to be a good sport. The only thing you can do is sabotage your own teammate. That's the rule. You can't really sabotage. You can't like shoot down someone's base yeah, and no like they damage yeah. them. Yeah, that would be a third way to do it as well. So this is the way I see it. They could do it three ways. One being they invite all 100 people to one server, but they would have to find out how to incorporate kills into that. Okay. All right. Another being. Everybody plays 10 games, they all stream their 10 games, and each kill equals 1 point, and each win equals 5 points. And then after all 10 games, you add up all points and compare points between each other. Yeah. And the last way is Keemstar's way. It's 2v2, and you guys go into the same lobby. And they make it squads, point? where it's 2v2, but it's squads. So you're not you're not helping each other. You can die in different areas if you want to, like, steal someone's kills, maybe. First way would be the best if they could incorporate kills. Yeah. That, honestly, that, that's the way that. it should be. It's just that it's, it's going to be hard to incorporate kills. I don't know how they can do it, but like... Yeah, me neither. They'd have to pay you to get a kill. Otherwise, people are just going to be hiding. Storm of 3D people is not a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this kind of rant and discussion. Uh, Infinite had to dip early. Let me know what you guys think about this situation and then the ideas we listen to the video for the comp side. But yeah, anyway, that's the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. This shit is fucking sad as fuck. Large org players are attacking a player, slandering a player, bringing nothing but hate to a player because they don't know the player. Large organization players are saying, basically, that, you know, using console is much easier, so it is therefore some form of cheating, and that, you know, they're going to do it next. <clears throat> I think the solution for this entire situation is very simple. Everyone you see bitching today, everyone you see slandering today and making really shitty comments, um, all those large organization players that are talking shit, I think, in my opinion, um, Epic Games should no longer invite them to tournaments because of how fucking ungrateful and how idiotic they're acting as if this is the only tournament that's ever gonna happen in fortnite oh no you didn't win it fucking get over it dude get over it if someone's cheating i promise you epic games is gonna figure out that they're cheating i promise you it's very easy i already see people commenting 
Can't you just get 15 people to join your game every game and, and then just kill them all? No, because the 15 people would have the same fucking names. Your games are going to take hours to finish. Hours to finish. If you have people making a brand new account every single game and then joining your game and letting you kill them. And Epic is going to see that. There are going to be a bunch of new accounts that you're killing every single game. Like, this shit is so stupid. Don't invite these kids to another event, ever. This is so dumb.